All right, so I'm here at a place called Park to Jet, and I'm going to be going to Albany, New York today. And uh, just right off the bat, today is September 11th. So 21 years ago, the attack on the World Trade Centers took place. Kind of a weird day to fly because that was all with airplanes. Anyhow, um, yeah, it should be a good day. Uh, weather is clear, skies are blue. I have a lot of stuff. Um, <laughs> that's why I'm parking here so I can uh, take a shuttle and get dropped off right at the front um, I was hoping that they would come by and pick me up, but I don't see anybody uh, So we'll see about that um, Yeah, so let's go there might not be a lot of video until after I check these bags because it's difficult for me to move all this stuff at once All right. All right, so I just checked my bags and man that was a pain in the butt the guy He wouldn't let me check my bag like at one of the kiosks, I was trying to, they make you self-check all these things. There's all these self-check kiosks there, see that? So on the other side, way over here, I saw somebody leave one and I started walking up to him. The guy's like, you can't use that one. And I'm like, why not? And he's like, you need to go around to this area. I'm like, what are you talking about? Why? And he wouldn't explain himself. He's like, you need to keep on moving, sir. Anyways, not very happy with Southwest right now. As you saw, I had a lot of bags and it's very difficult to go places. And so he, he was telling me to keep on moving. And sure enough, that machine was totally open. Like I totally could have gone there and he just didn't want me to for whatever reason. He's like, I needed to check the supply. I'm like, I don't know what that means, sir. I don't work for Southwest. Anyways, looks like they're busy today. Still doing a lot of construction. All right, here we go. Not too busy. Should only take a few minutes to get through. These shoes like to set off the security. Like I always get caught. So I have to take them off and put it back on so it takes extra time. Uh, I always forget it too, but they're heavier and bigger, so they wouldn't fit in my bag as well, so that's why I didn't do that. Anyways.
gotta check our flight, make sure it's on time. Another person uh, that I'm supposed to meet in Albany is uh, majorly delayed. <laughs> it's at the very top, the only flight out of here to Albany, if you see it up here. Uh, C-27, on time, perfect. Um, all right, so I'm going to go get a little food. Yeah, you know, last time I tried to do this, somebody came and they interrupted me. So this is what it looks like here at the uh, the Sea Gates when you uh, yeah when you check out this area. I don't know what to call this. When you wait for the train, I guess you know these little trains that take you back and forth to the different terminals. They all look different inside. This one you can connect up here, I guess, if you go over to that next level, but there's no other shops up there, so nobody really goes up to that second level. But you can, there's escalators there. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go over here. I ordered some food from McDonald's. I'm gonna grab that and eat before I leave. Here's an airplane. A little jet. Official Denver International Airport landing. Wow, so this thing flew. Not too long ago. I guess 95 is a while ago, but it's still not too old. All right, so this is where I'm gonna get food. All right, we got some water. Literally got the cheapest thing I could on the uh, McDonald's menu for the most part, McDouble. I think it's like 350 with tax. I remember back in the day when those things were like a dollar. They might have been under a dollar. Anyways. Go to 27. <laughs> A lot of empty uh, gates here. Nobody waiting for nothing. I can see that C32, there's nothing assigned to it or to show you the city. This is about the slowest walk you can do right here. <laughs> oh my goodness. as soon as I started trying to walk around him, he started walking faster. Because he was like so leisure. All right. I do not like the C gate as much as B gates. So weird, those are screens. 28. Going to Orlando. Oh, yeah, today's the first day of uh, NFL, so everybody's watching all these games going on. My gate says Austin. That's not good. You figure that out. Huh, right there, it says Austin. <laughs> you come over here to that screen, it says Albany. That says Albany, okay, so here we go. Need to, hey, that's Little Man. I might get some Little Man ice cream, I haven't had that over here. All right. That says it all, flight's delayed. Okay, so that thing said to check the app. This is the app. It literally says it's going to take off 14 minutes later than what it was supposed to, yet nobody has got on the plane still, so doubting that's going to happen. <laughs> they could, yeah, they could change it, but they, uh, 
I don't know. I guess the data they have says that this is the quickest way to the board line. That's good, I guess.
has all of the exciting On behalf of Southwest Airlines, and especially this flight crew, welcome to Albany. Please remain seated with those seatbelts securely fastened and those carry-on items right where they are. If those cell phones are in arm's reach, you may now turn them on. Let your family and friends know that you may get a safe and sound. When the captain turns off that fastened seatbelt sign, please use caution when opening up those overhead bins. Your items might be overly happy to meet you and jump out and greet you. Also, please be advised that the aircraft doors will be open for ground servicing, so make sure you go out the same door that you came in on. If you're connecting here to another Southwest flight, go out to the terminal, check those TV monitors for your latest flight and gate information. Everyone will be leaving this aircraft this evening, so please, while we are taxiing, look around those seats and those seatback pockets for any cell phones, wallets, AirPod chargers, anything of that nature, because once you leave this aircraft, you won't be able to come back on to retrieve those items. We've certainly enjoyed spending part of our evening with you, and we know that you have many, many choices when you fly, and we thank you so much for choosing us here at Southwest. Please go out, buckle up, remember to be kind to yourselves, kind to others, and come back and see us really soon. Welcome to Albany. I was trying to show you the uh, football game there, but here we go. Here's the United States, and you can see there's a lot of weather there north of Chicago and up into Michigan, pretty much all of Michigan, down into uh, Indiana, it looks like. But, uh, yeah, I don't really remember this flight being that bouncy. It seemed uh, pretty normal. I, I do remember watching the football game. Um, I don't remember who won that. I, I know we had to leave and the game wasn't over. Like, I had to get off the flight. Uh, this is also interesting. Right there, we fly through Canada, which I find pretty funny. And you can see all the kind of scattered thunderstorms in the clouds that we, when we were landing and everything we went through there. Uh, that's it. Enjoy the rest of the fight. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Try to find our luggage. That's a pretty small airport. Some pretty pictures. Nature's a big thing here. <laughs> So they have two gates, A and B. A has six different things and B is 11. This is security, I suppose. It's actually pretty nice. It's nicer than I remember. 
I don't know why that guy is dressed as a uh, Irish, Scottish person, whatever that is. But he is. Anyways. Um, yeah, they got those uh, same security things that you see in... Uh, where was that, Raleigh? Huh. Hey, by the way, hi Camden. I had well, I was at your birthday yesterday. Uh, and hi Mason. Good times. Alright, I'm going to go find my luggage. So that's where you go into security. <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts, that's nice to know. Of course there is because we're in East Coast. So I'm looking for C2. I just looked at the monitor over there on the wall. And we're going to C2. Not that there's that many flights, but I'll probably go get my rental car first. Because this will take some time. Let's see. So it's coming down that escalator in my bag. I thought it was okay, and it started going down the steps. And I was like, I was looking down to see where this bathroom was I just went to. Such an idiot. Uh, yeah, C2 is right there. I'm gonna go rent my car. I need to go to budget, and then we'll be good. All right, I literally just walked in here. This is uh, where I'm staying. It's called the uh, Crown Plaza. I'm in Lake Placid. So, as you can tell, that's what time it is. Uh, in the morning, I believe this is beautiful. I don't think you can see a single thing right now. And should I go outside? Why not? Oh, that freaked me out. I almost jumped. There's like a chair there. Um, yeah, I can't really see anything. Anyways, um... Hey, thanks for much. Thanks so much for watching this. Uh, if you liked the video, be sure you hit like. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, be sure to hit subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to uh, ask away in the in the comments. So uh, thanks again so much, and uh, take flight.